this is the first part of uh, digestion and absorption chapter plus one class uh, biology in the fifth part we will cover about when the digestion is completed then how the digested food is absorbed and where the digested food is absorbed this is our uh, first topic of uh, today's lecture before going to start our first uh, topic let's recall the part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 topic uh, first in part 1 digestion alimentary canal the parts of alimentary canal associated glands saliva salivary glands then in the second part we have cover about the digestion of carbohydrate then protein then fats then nucleic acid uh, you must note down that uh, there are five steps of nutrition in human being there are five steps of nutrition in human being Uh, it is already covered in your 10th class also first step is ingestion second step is digestion third step is absorption fourth step is assimilation and fifth step is ejection ingestion ingestion means intake of food ingestion means intake of food so when we intake the food in our mouth and in mouth we crush the food and the food is mixed with saliva and proper mixing is done with the help of our tongue so this is the first step of uh, nutrition that is ingestion and as the food will move towards the stomach small intestine then the food is digested means uh, carbohydrate protein and fats digestion starts or completed in uh, small intestine this is the second step of nutrition that is digestion and when the food is digested then the food is absorbed by our body uh, there are special uh, structure present in our alimentary canal that uh, absorb the food that absorb the different components of food and when the food is absorbed it is utilized it is utilized to produce energy this step is known as assimilation this step is known as assimilation and the undigested food then the undigested food will remove out from the body it is known as ejection it is known as ejection so let's start this this is the summary or you can say this is a tabular form in which the different components of food are absorbed are absorbed so in our oral cavity first we start from uh, st uh, the starting point and at it will end till the last point of our alimentary canal so in the first point that is oral cavity in oral cavity certain drugs the medicines Uh, that will come in the contact with the mucosa layer mucosa is the innermost layer may be absorbed uh, on the lower side of tongue into the blood uh, you must know down the absorbed food will move into the blood the absorbed food will move into the blood so in oral cavity certain drugs uh, or you can see certain type of chemical are absorbed in our oral cavity then the food will move into into the stomach in stomach some amount of water is absorbed simple sugar that is glucose get absorbed because digestion of sugar digestion of sugar starts in uh, or digestion of carbohydrate starts in uh, mouth buccal cavity uh, with the help of salivary amylase so this uh, simple sugar are absorbed in stomach uh, some amount of alcohol yes alcohol if we intake alcohol uh, then stomach absorb the alcohol then the food will move into small intestine in small intestine uh, glucose fructose fatty acids glycerol and amino acid as we know final digestion of maximum component of food will occur in small intestine in small intestine glucose is formed fatty acids glycerol amino acids are formed so the maximum absorption of food digested food will occur in small intestine and the structure responsible for the absorption of food is villi villi is the finger like projection that help in the absorption of food uh, that is glucose fructose fatty acid glycerol and amino acids are absorbed with the help of small intestine then large intestine in large intestine water some minerals or some amount of drugs are absorbed in large intestine water some minerals and drugs are absorbed <coughs> so next
these are some disorders of our digestive system or our alimentary canal so first is diarrhea first is diarrhea uh, what is diarrhea when our rectum rectum contain a bowl shaped structure bowl like structure so rhythmic contraction or relaxation will remove the undigested food from our body so when irregular bowel movement will take place sometime and then the you can say then the uh, undigested food will remove from our body frequently and sometime the vomiting may occur so what is the reason behind this diarrhea when we intake the contaminated food means when we intake the contaminated or the food uh, that is uh, you can say not suitable for eating get intake by our uh, uh, body then diarrhea may occur in diarrhea uh, loose motion uh, may be uh, the symptom or sometime vomiting may occur the food will move uh, out from our mouth so this uh, is the first disorder of uh, digestive system then is constipation when the feces feces means undigested food get retain get retain in our body means when the undigested food is uh, you can say hard and cannot move out from our body or it is hard to pass out the undigested food then it is known as constipation so constipation can be characterized by hard dry stool and bowel movement are infrequent so this is known as constipation then irritable bowel syndrome in this uh, you can say when a person is suffering from uh, you can say diarrhea or constipation frequently uh, diarrhea or constipation then diarrhea then constipation so it will create some uh, you can say allergic situation or it will create some uh, irritation in the uh, lower area where, where the undigested food uh, is uh, you can say store and it is pass out from that area so the area where the undigested food is stored uh, in that particular region or area the irritation may be occur or irritation may persist this is known as irritable bowel syndrome then obesity obesity you can say when the body accumulate the large amount of fat when the body accumulate the large amount of fat fat get accumulated in our body and it is known as obesity it is a metabolic disorder it is a metabolic disorder means when our body, uh, metabolism get disturbed metabolism means uh, the catabolic or anabolic processes are known as metabolic process so sometimes our body uh, has some disbalance in our metabolic uh, activity and it will create some accumulation of uh, fat in our body sometimes if we uh, use it or if we intake the large amount of uh, fat in our diet uh, it may lead to obesity then lactose intolerance uh, lactose intolerance means when an organism unable to absorb the digested sugar means when the sugar is not absorbed properly that it is known as lactose in mainly uh, if a person is uh, has has a deficiency of an enzyme known as lactase then the lactose intolerance may occur so these are uh, some uh, as a disorder of digestive system uh, one more uh, disorder may be uh, considered vomiting vomiting is the you can say removal of uh, food content present in stomach through esophagus is known as vomiting vomiting can also be written in the disorder of digestive system so this is all about in uh, today's lecture uh, thank you